Despite hopes the world would emerge from the COVID-19 pandemic and food security would begin to improve, world hunger rose further in 2021. The prevalence of undernourishment jumped from 8% in 2019 to 9.8% in 2021. New figures estimate as many as 828 million people around the world faced hunger in 2021. This represents an increase of 150 million more people facing hunger in 2021 compared to 2019, the year before the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. Projections suggest nearly 670 million people, or 8% of the world's population, will be facing hunger in 2030, which is the same projection from 2015, the launch year for the SDG 2030 Agenda. Hunger continued to rise in Africa, Asia and Latin America and the Caribbean in 2021, but with somewhat slower increases than in 2019 to 2020. In 2021, hunger affected 278 million people in Africa, 425 million people in Asia, and 56.5 million in Latin America and the Caribbean. The ongoing war in Ukraine presents additional food security challenges. Ukraine and Russia are two of the biggest global producers of staple cereals, oil seeds and fertilizer. The conflict is disrupting supply chains and pushing up prices of grains, fertilizer and energy. Simulations of a severe export shortfall from these countries suggest an increase of up to 13 million in 2022 and 19 million more undernourished in 2023 respectively. In 2021, about 2.3 billion people around the world were moderately or severely food insecure. 11.7% of the global population faced food insecurity at severe levels. Globally, malnutrition in all its forms also remains a challenge, with almost 3.1 billion people unable to afford a healthy diet. 149.2 million children under age 5, or 22%, were affected by stunting, and 6.7% suffered from wasting. The actual figures are expected to be higher due to the effects of COVID-19. At the same time, 38.9 million children of children under 5, or 5.7%, are overweight. The effects of inflation and consumer food prices have increased the costs of healthy diets worldwide. In this challenging environment, policies aimed at bolstering food security and nutrition are more important than ever before. Governments can achieve more with the same public resources. Government support to food and agriculture, such as trade and market interventions, and fiscal subsidies to producers and consumers can help improve the availability and affordability of healthy diets. Not only is much of the current support to agriculture not promoting the production of nutritious foods, it is also market distorting, not reaching many farmers, and hurts the environment. Repurposing policy support to food and agriculture to increase the availability of nutritious foods can have positive impacts on accessing better nutrition. The challenges we face are daunting, but concerted efforts to repurpose food and agricultural policy support and related spending can help make healthy diets less costly and more affordable for those most at risk.